I'm gonna show you guys one of the best way to control the recoil of any gun in a game. I'm currently holding a flatline, one of the wildest vertical recoil led guns. What I'm gonna do is go into ADS, empty my magazine without controlling the recoil so you guys can see the native recoil pattern for VK57 flatline. As you can see, the general pattern goes up. So it goes up, goes right, curves back to the left, goes straight back up. Now here's where things get juicy, guys. I actually saw this on Twitter the other day, but I've lost the tweet. I cannot for the life of me remember what what the guy's name was. Basically, there was a guy that was demonstrating what I'm about to show you right now, but he was doing it on the PC version. It definitely piqued my interest though, because whatever's on the PC is highly likely available on mobile. So here we are, are you ready? So the first obvious thing to control a recoil is to go against it, right? So as the flatline's recoil goes up, you pull your right finger down to counter it. But with this technique that I'm about to show you, you barely need to pull your right finger down. All you gotta do is as you're shooting, you turn right or left. Yup, just straight, dead hard horizontal. And as you can see, there is much less vertical recoil when you do it this way. You're probably wondering how you're actually going to use this, right? Simple solution. You strafe to the opposite direction, basically going against the direction that you're turning to. Let me break it down a little bit more. In this clip, you'll see that I'm turning my camera to the left, which means I'm going to have to strafe to my right. If you don't know what strafing means, strafing means moving left or right. What's happening is, as your character is moving to the right, your target moves to the left. And guess what? You track that target by turning to the left which in turn activates this aim hack. Let's do a quick comparison. Here's me shooting the dummy just by standing still and controlling the recoil only with my right thumb. As you can see, the recoil is a bit wild, right? And now check this clip out. Yup, not only is it a lot more precise, it is actually easier to control the recoil this way. And on top of this, this even gives you the bonus of always be moving. Basically, when you're in a gunfight, you don't want to just stand there and shoot your enemy. That's one way to get taken down really quick. Ideally, you want to strafe left or right or a combination of both. And with this technique, all you've got to do as far as recoil control goes is turn left or right. Yep, literally as simple as that. Let me show you using another gun that has a relatively high vertical recoil and bullet spread. The L-Star. Right, so this is the normal recoil for the L-Star. You can see how much it goes up. Now, this is me controlling the recoil simply by turning right. Do you see how much this technique minimized the vertical recoil? Now, let's put it on the dummy test. In this clip, I'll shoot the dummy with an L-Star using only my right thumb to control the recoil. Pretty wild, right? Now, I'm going to strafe and turn to hit the target. As you can see, there is definitely a noticeable difference. And all I did was a simple combination of straight, turn, and shoot. Try it for yourself. Well, make sure you have your sensitivity set up, though. If you haven't got that yet, watch this video.